Hey everybody, it's Admiral Polo here today, and welcome to my short video on how to use GIMP. This will be a video for first-time GIMP users, basic editing for those that don't know. GIMP, this is the uh, icon for it. It's like a free Photoshop. I believe it's made by Google. I don't know. I have version 2.6.7. So, let's get into it. When you open up GIMP, you will have this up right here, and I will show you if you make, uh, like, RuneScape uh, videos, because I'll be able to show you a few of the different effects and how to use it. So, you want to click File, New, and then for RuneScape uh, videos in high definition, you want to do, or any YouTube high definition video for that matter, you want to do 1280 by 720, hit OK, and you will then get this screen. So here is your layer section. When you make a new layer, it will appear here. And um, so a lot of you that watch my bossing series will know that text, that graphics rather, made in the beginning. I'll be making one of those showing you how I do it. So first I start, I click on the paint thingy, click black, and my background's black. Excellent. whoop did he do Not so difficult. Now I would click on the text tool, and I always make all my text white. You can make whatever color you like. Go right here, and I name it Admiral Polo Productions. Wait, no. Admiral Polo. I'm tired. Admiral Polo goes bossing. And then underneath, I go episode 7. And for this episode, which you guys will be watching tomorrow, if you choose to do so, will be the Calfight Queen. Obviously, it's not one of the big bad bosses of RuneScape, but... Um, it is a boss, but anyway, um, as you can see here, or hopefully you can see, I did make a spelling mistake, um, no big deal, just click text tool, bring that back up, and yes, I did do that on purpose, click on the thing you want to do, and you're good. I choose to go over here and center the, um, text, you can, by clicking on it, you can click and drag it all over the screen. And this is how you choose font. You click on this, and in a minute, it will open this screen. This has all the text, and I like to play around with them. We'll use that for this. And then the size. Most of my sizes are in the 60s to 70s, and if you run out of room, click and drag outward. And there you go. It looks centered to me. Although it could be... Obviously, it's not going to be perfectly centered because there is really... A point in me doing that. So that looks probably big enough. I can get it to six. No, yeah, I'll leave. You guys will leave comments if I keep it at 69 pixels. So we're at 68 pixels. So this looks a bit bland. So what you want to do is make sure you have the text selected. Just Admiral Polo goes bossing episode 7. Just make sure you got everything right. Go to filters. This is my one of my favorite effects. If you get a drop shadow. It will open up this, you can click on it, and leave everything stock. And right here you can change the color. I'm going to make this like a nice orange to match the Calphite Queen, I could say. That's a good orange. Click that, click OK. It will really quickly render. And you will have a nice drop back picture thingamabob. Yeah. So, as you can see, still pretty bland. If you want to add more layers, click File, Open as Layers. And I'm going to go to my hard drive, and my pictures, which are going to take a minute to load, because i got a ton of them. Here they are. And for this, I have two pictures that I want to use. I want to use a Calphite Queen KKK. Where the hell are the Ks? Oh, no, nobody leave a comment about that. I did not mean that to come out like that. And here you go. As you can see, there it is. Now, you're obviously going to want to make it bigger. You can go like this, and just like Microsoft Word, a lot of you, well, most of you, I hope, know how to use that. Click on that, scale it, it will then render really quickly, and it will look like this. So I'm going to choose to put this above right there, and as you can see, it's blocking the text. Do not have a problem here. Click and drag down below it, and it will go to the back. So I want to add more, because I always add the rare drops of the creature. So oh, I just went back. Let's click back on pictures. Give it a minute if you have a lot of pictures like myself. And I've already found the D's. Let's find that dragon chain body. There it is. And as long as there's this, like, checkerboard design in the back, you will not have a background on the picture itself. So this tool selected will click and drag it. I actually do like this, um, uh, 
like this size right here, I'm going to say. I might, I might shrink it a bit depending on how it turns out. But if you want to copy it, just right click on the layer and click duplicate. You can then click and drag and you will have two. So I'm going to duplicate it two more times. I believe I duplicated this one. Yes, I did. I'm trying to fit the dragon chain bodies in there. Nothing has to be perfect unless you like things to be perfect. Alright, as you can see, it's just looking a bit bland, you could say. Another cool effect, you can play around with all these, is like blurs, enhances, lights. I like lights and shadow. So you can do a supernova right here. So this is, I use this in a lot of my videos. This is something I use all the time. This I use for my armadillo, if any of you guys want to know. Because I know I got a lot of good feedback on that. So let's get rid of this ugly, like, pink and do, like, a bright red. Now this is where kind of guessing is going to come in. You will render, and you will have that. See how it's right there? I don't want it right there. So I'm going to back out of the supernova, and I'm going to go back to Lights and Shadows Supernova. And I will then move it up where I want it. I don't know why. I cannot see exactly where it is. And that's pretty darn close. Just want to move it over a tad bit. Filters. Oh, wait. Get rid of this one. I'm obviously hitting Control z as most of you probably figured that one out. Uh, I don't want to add a drop shadow, actually. I would like to add a supernova. So I want to move it like this a bit. See how that looks. Much better. Now that's in the center, I can go like this, and I can drag this so it covers it if I would like to. But I think I'm just going to leave it dead in the center for this one, and you will tell me guys how you will tell me how you guys like that. So that is a quick tutorial on how. Actually, I'm not done yet. So you want to render it out of this format. You will not be able to edit what you have post put in here unless you save two copies. I proofread beforehand. Cal fight queen, Admiral Polar was bossing, everything looks fine by me. Besides this dragon chain body, I would like to be off the corner along with this one. And those other ones, kind of like me, just playing around with it. You guys will get the hang of it also. It's not a very hard program to use these, so I just made this in. I don't know, like five minutes, eight minutes, I don't know. You want to click File, Save As. This is where the rendering comes in. You want to save it wherever you save your pictures. I save mine in Admiral Polo Guys Pictures. I then will save this as Calfight Queen Bossing 7. Not that, 7. So I will save it, and then you want to click dot. You can save it as a few different ones. If you save it as dot X, CF, you are able to edit it again, but it will not work for uploading it to YouTube. I recommend using it as a PNG file. You can't really tell the difference in the um, quality, and it's a lot smaller than bitmaps, BMT, I call them bitmaps. Most of them are PNGs that I use. Actually, all the ones that I've made are PNGs. Grad or bossing, I have the, the copy that I can edit and the copy that I can upload. And this is all Fraps screenshots that save in bitmaps. Fraps likes to take up as much of your hard drive as possible. So, click Save. You will then get this message. PNG plugin can't handle. This is where you're saying I can't, you can't edit them anymore. Click Export. Leave all this the same. Click Save. It'll then render. It's not going to take too long unless you're on, like, an uh, ancient computer. And there you go, it is edited, so let's go see how it turned out. Go to guides, go to pictures, and I saved it. Calphite, 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 Calphite. I have a lot of pictures, as you guys can see. Here it is right here. And double click that bad boy. And here it opens. This is what it will look like. So you can add any uh, a variety of other effects but this is just a basic tutorial and this is my first tutorial on how to edit slash like make stuff so if you have any constructive criticism please leave it in the comment section below and other than that thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and i hope to see you all later bye